Hello and welcome to this new video. In the last days I got a lot of comments regarding TB Sync. I made an older video how you can use this add-on for Thunderbird to synchronize your Google contacts and calendar with Thunderbird. And um, there's a new version available of TB Sync and the developer removed the support for Google entirely. In the past you needed to activate the Google support through a setting. However, um, the developer claims that he now have dropped the support entirely and removed all the functionality. Well, this is bad news. However, there's also some good news because it's now possible to synchronize Google Calendar and contacts with Thunderbird without add-ons using CalDAV and CutDAV. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's start with the address book. In Thunderbird, click on the address book, and now we have to create or add a new card DAF address book. For the username, just type in your Gmail username, and for the location, uh, here is the link you need. Just copy it here from our homepage. Link is down below in the video description. So copy and paste it in here. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, change the email address here in the link to match your username. Click continue. And uh, in most cases, when you do the first connection, you need to log in into your Google account and grant access for Thunderbird. Okay, I've already done that. Uh, so it now shows me the available address books uh, and I only have one. So select the address books you want to synchronize and click continue. The address book now appears here. And as you can see, all the contacts here are, are showing up. And well, that's it. You're now synchronizing your address book with Thunderbird. And the good thing is also that the synchronization works in both ways. So if I enter a new contact here, it will automatically sync back to your Google account and will show up there as well. Okay. For the calendar, it's similar. So we click here on the calendar. This will open the calendar view and right click here and create a new calendar. Uh, select here on the network and we also have to enter our username here or Gmail address and we also need to provide a location. The location we can get this from our Google Calendar. So I've logged in here in the browser and went to the Google Calendar and here are my calendars and click on the three dots here behind the calendar name and go to settings and sharing. This will bring us here to the settings and scroll down until you find this one here, the secret address in iCal format. Do not share this address here and it's also not shown up here. Uh, you need to click this button here to show the link, but you can also copy it here with this button. And this link needs to be pasted in this field here and then we can click find calendars. Same here. Uh, when you first connect, you will get uh, this, um, yeah, this login window here. So log in if this window appears. Otherwise, here are my calendars and I can select the calendars I want to subscribe and synchronize. Click subscribe and in Thunderbird, the calendar will now show up. It takes a while. Uh, the first synchronization takes about 10 to 20 seconds. So just wait. And here we go. All the calendar entries are having shown up now. And it works the same as the contacts. If you do a change here or create a new uh, new entry, this will automatically sync back to your Google account. Okay, as you can see, very simple now. So you no longer need TV sync or any other add-on to synchronize your calendar and contacts with Google. It now works out of the box directly with Thunderbird and it only took us a few minutes to set this up. Everything I've shown here in this video is available here in this blog post link below in the video description. Okay. Thank you for watching.